I am embarrassed to say that I received The Edge by Sigmund Brower over 20 years ago and I never read it. To make it worse, it was a gift. Life sure has a way of distracting us from reading the books we say we will one day read. This was not even an extensive read by any stretch. A paltry 127 small pages. Now, as an adult, I am reading what was meant for my former self as a teenager. This will no longer have the same impact it should have had on me 20 plus years ago. I was able to read this in a mere two hours. The style is more like a devotional. There are 13 brief chapters that showcase NHL players that share how their faith in Christ impacted not only their careers, but their personal lives. These are not players with superstar resumes. Don't get me wrong, they all had great careers. A couple of them were even inducted into the Hockey Hall of Fame. But I think it is more their journey and the pinnacle moments of their careers that shine the most. Unfortunately, their encounters with Jesus are often vague and limited in detail. But a common thread that each player associated their decision was a lack of peace and fulfillment. There was emptiness, as if something was missing. Despite the bright lights, money, and attention, they all expressed one way or another that there had to be more to life than this. I can see why I should have read this book when I first received it. I would have enjoyed it as a teen. That is the point. It was meant for teens. But now as an adult, there is very little to digest. But the one thing I did appreciate was learning about these players sharing that edge they had with their faith. It made me wonder how many more players or athletes have that same edge too, but are silent about it. Despite that appreciation, this does not stimulate the seeker or skeptic. It did not stimulate me either, but I certainly felt fulfilled finally reading a book way too long overdue. They often say, better late than never. I say, we either make time or we don't. We need to ask ourselves, what books are we holding on to that have not been read? Will we make time to read them? There is no promise the books we finally read will provide value, but there can be the promise of fulfillment and closure knowing that you found out. And just maybe that one book on your shelf could change your life because you decided to make the time for it.